La cote que le vos soquete vos sequete vos sequeta. Jacote le vos soquete vos sequete vos chiquete le vos soquete vos sequeta. La cote le vos chiquete vos sequeta. Ya cote le vos sequete vos sequeta. La cote que le vos chiquete vos sequete vos sequeta. Le que te le vos chiquete ma sequete vos sita. Zacote le vos chiquete vos soquete vos sequeta la vache queta. Lekete le vos soquete vos sequeta. Lekete le vos soquete. Zacate vos soquete. Ya cote le vos soquete vos sequeta. Lima si praco sequeta. Jekete vos soquete vos sequeta. Zekete vos soquete. Ya cote le vos soquete. Rekete vos soquete vos sequete vos sequeta. Makata la vos soquete. Yikata la vos shakata la vos sequeta. Zekete vos soquete. Miso tebo sokete bo soketa maka sekete zekete bo soketa zekete le bo soketa jekete le bo soketa le kote le bo sokete bo sokete bo sikata jekete le bo sokata zakata le ba sokete mo soketa le kete le bo soketa jakote le bo sokete bo sokete bo sikata le kata le ba sekete bo soketa jekete le bo sokete bo soketa le kete ke le bo soketa zekete le bo soketa zekete le bo sokata le kata le ba sokete bo soketa me kete le bo soketa me kata le ba shekete bo sokata le kete le bo soketa jakote le bo soketa zekete bo soketa le kete le bo sokata jekote le bo soketa zekete le bo soketa Zekete le vos soketa, zakata le vos soketa, jakote le vos soketa, rekete le vos soketa, zekete mo sikata le vos soketa, jakote le vos soketa, lekete le vos soketa, rekete le vos soketa, jakote le vos soketa, zipra ko sekete mo sikata, likata le vos soketa, zekete le vos soketa, yakote le vos soketa mo sita, jakote le vos soketa, me sekete le vos soketa. In the name of Jesus. Let's take our seats. There is something very profound that I want to share. First of all, I just want to thank our Lord Jesus Christ that has allowed us to be gathered as one family in Christ and praying that the Holy Spirit is going to keep us together and give us the strength, the motivation the strength, the endurance inside the word of God. I just want to share something that I will try to make it very brief. I don't want to stretch it to become very long, but it's going to be a very creative message inspired by the Holy Spirit. I want to talk about extraction, the extraction and inside the extraction i want to talk about endurance i want to talk about the perseverance i want to talk about labor i want to talk about pain earlier some days ago i arrived in cape town with the mission to preach the word, to deliver the word to souls. I arrived with the motivation to inspire souls, as this is my inborn calling. Little did I know that I was going to also go through pain that I did not expect to go through that very same week where the Lord was ex experiencing my atmosphere of prayerfulness as I prepared myself to minister to the souls that the Lord had provided in Cape Town. That is the same week that I had a serious toothache. And by then I didn't know it was a toothache. What I 
presumed this was, I thought maybe this was my gum that was in pain. But because of the love that I had for the work of God, I continued ministering, I continued doing what the Lord called me, though I had pain that was inside my mouth. And it felt as a thorn in the flesh that Apostle Paul once preached about. So, I want to talk about the extraction so that you understand that there are some challenges that need to be extracted completely out of your life. I've seen people that want to hold on to certain marriages, people that want to hold on to certain relationships, people that want to hold on to certain habits. They need to be extracted out. Eventually, I'm going to reach the conclusion where I realized that this was not a gum, but this was a toothache. And immediately, the night I realized that this was a toothache and not just a pain on my gum, I went straight and consulted someone who is a pivotal key role player to book immediately so that the extraction of that tooth is done immediately. There are things that you are keeping in your life, things that you believe that they will give you profit. There are things that you are counting on, but they are not giving you happiness. They are giving you pain is the truth that was inside my mouth. All that is needed is to extract their ideologies that you need to learn today, that as long as you are keeping that ideology, as long as you are keeping that mentality, you might remain rooted in one place until you extract out that mentality in the same way that I extracted out this tooth that had become an aching problem. I remember how I used to wake up midnight in the past days. But though I would still do the will of God, though I would still teach the gospel, though I would still drive out demons, I had something that needed to be extracted out of me. And that thing that needed to be extracted out of me, it was giving me pain whilst I was delivering others. What does that mean? It means you can be used by God to assist others. You can be used by God to inspire others. You can be used by God to become light to others. But after being used by God to become light to others, you can still remain in a certain pain that only you can deliver yourself from. The one that came up with the decision of the tooth being extracted was this was the very same who did not want to associate his problem with anything that needs to be extracted out of him you might be thinking that a relationship that you once had might recover one day the truth is that is that it needs to be extracted out like the same way that I extracted out the aching tooth. The truth is that there are things that need to be extracted out in the same way that we drive out demons. The truth is that as long as certain things have not been extracted out, have not been pulled out, certain behaviors, certain habits, as long as they are part of you, you might remain in the very same place. In Luke chapter 11, verse 23, Jesus says, He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth. He that gathereth not with me scattereth. What does that mean? It means anything that is not part of Jesus, it scatters. He's not talking about anything that is part of him. 
that doesn't gather yet it remains part of him you have things that you want to remain part of you you have friends that you want to remain part of you you have a way of playing that you don't want to change you have a worshiping environment that is not giving you the results that you desire but you don't want to extract it out you have you have certain things that have not given you happiness you have certain people that have not given you the joy and the pleasure the rest in your life those elements those circumstances those aspects of life that don't give you happiness but you still want to keep them around you they are just like the tooth that was aching inside my mouth yet i thought it was a gum there are things that you are addressing but you are addressing the wrong areas just like i took medication for days thinking that it was a gum and the ignorance of thinking that it was just a, a gum that was in pain was the ignorance of addressing the wrong problem at the wrong time yet it was a toothache and it was aching for days meaning that you can have a problem for years meaning that you, the devil can waste your years in life instead of you just finding the right partner and you live happily married you can wait for something that does not belong to you to change you can skip something that gives you pain like the tooth that was inside my mouth and you don't choose to extract it out you can start starting the wrong program as a high school kid you need to make a decision you need to take bold decisions you need to address the right decisions you need to do the right choice a wrong prescription leads to a wrong medication all i did day and night was take painkillers and do you know what painkillers did they only stopped the pain temporarily to allow me to make myself feel as if i was now healed and the next moment i was feeling pain there are people that can keep an aching tooth inside their mouth why because they don't want to lose one tooth but at the same time they don't realize how much pain they are going through it is like someone who is just married on paper and for the sake of just being regarded as one that is married yet on paper not married happily that is another tooth that needs to be extracted that is another truth that one does not want to hear and jesus says he that is not with me is against me he that gathereth not with me scattereth when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man he walks through dry places seeking rest and finds none and he says unto himself i will return to my house where i came from there are problems that will never leave like an evil spirit that has been driven out driving out a demon is not the same as extracting a problem driving out a demon i can drive out a demon from you right now but as long as you are not ready to get it delivered you are like someone uh, that i just gave a painkiller until there is an extraction of a problem the extraction of a problem is when you you get rid of a mentality the extraction which is just like the extraction of a tooth that was aching inside the mouth is totally getting rid of a mindset totally getting rid of a behavior totally getting rid of a habit the day that you, cho- you you choose to change the way that you think the day that you choose to change and become a better person you choose 
the right people to spend time with. You choose the right people to hang out with. You choose the right community. You realize that if you had chosen the wrong husband, you will be given the boldness even by the Holy Spirit to extract that problem like a tooth that is in pain. And the truth hurts just like extracting out the tooth that hurts. Anything that hurts the most, anything that gives you pain, behind it, there is the truth that will set you free. Behind the truth was that I should extract out the tooth. But behind the truth of extracting out the tooth was a reality of the pain that I was going to endure. There is pain that you feel after extracting out a, a tooth. And the truth is that there is pain if you don't extract out that tooth. So, you realize that after a demon has been driven out and you are not willing to change, you have not extracted out anything. You have not extracted out the truth. Why? Because you, you were not prepared to, to face the truth. I want us one more time again for the next three minutes. We enter into a moment of a three minutes intercession and pray being inspired by the Holy Spirit so that he gives us the endurance, the strength, the motivation to deal with the problems that have been assigned against us by the devil. Apostle Paul talks about a thorn that was in his flesh. He prayed and prayed to God and all that God could say unto him was, my grace is sufficient. But here, today I'm here to inform you that no matter how much grace you have been given, you are given the power to extract out certain things out of your life like a painful truth. And I know it is a painful truth. Let's stand up and pray. La proko sekete bo siketa. Ja proko sekete le bo sokata ba sekete le bo siketa. Ja kote le bo sokata. Likata na ba sokete bo soketa. Rakata ma sokete bo soketa. Je proko sekete le bo soketa. Je proko sakata le ba soketa. Le proko sekete bo sokata. Zekete le bo sokete mo sita. Zakote le bo sokata. Zekete bo soketa, jekete le bo soketa, rekete kere bo sokete bo sokete bo sita, ma zekete bo sokete bo sita, ja proko seketa, lekete bo sokata, ma se proko sekete bo sikata, lekete le bo soketa, ja proko sekete bo sikata, la kote le bo sokota, la kata na ba sheketa, zekete le bo soketa, zekete bo sokata. Zipra ko seketa, japro ko seketa, zekete le bo sokata ma seketa, zekete le bo soketa, jakote le bo soketa, zakote le bo sokata, yakote le bo sokata, zekete le bo sokete bo sokata, zekete le bo soketa, rekete ke le bo sokata, zekete le bo sokata, yakata le bo sokata ma soketa, zekete le bo sokate ma shita. Zakata le basokata, zekete le basokata, me zekete le basokata, rekete le basokata, likota kata, mashi prako sekete le basokita, zekete le basikete le basokata, lekete le basikete le basita, zakata le basokata, zekete le basokata, me si prako sekete le basokata, ma sekete le basokata. Ja proko sekete le boshikata, ya kata la ba sekete mo sokata, la kata la ba sekete mo soketa, je proko seketa. In the name of Jesus.